In this question, we have a signal x of t, and it's sampled. It's sampled at a rate less than the Nyquist rate. So what we have here is undersampling. So uh, the frequency fs is less than 2 times fm. Or another way of saying that is omega s is less than 2 omega m. And the question is asking for the spectrum. So the spectrum will look something like that, but replicated or repeated an infinite number of times. So let me um, make space for that. So if we draw amplitude and a frequency axis, we label that omega. And this is your first spectrum from minus omega m to omega m. Then the spectrum repeats. So let me um, use a different color here. It will repeat once and then twice and it will repeat an infinite number of times. But we notice that this spectra overlap because we have undersampling. So this frequency here, that's your sampling frequency, omega s. And here you've got twice omega s. Here you've got minus omega s. And this point here, that's omega s plus omega m. And that there, that's this spectral overlap. That's the bit that's causing our aliasing. So to get the full mark, you would need to label the axis correctly. You'd need to show an infinite number, well, several overlapping spectra. So you'd need to have the original spectra centered at zero. You'd need to have um, at least one additional spectrum in the positive and negative uh, axes, and you'd need to label the sampling frequency and the uh, bandwidth omega m, at least to get the full mark.